Berberine is an absolute fantastic supplement for anti-aging, for increasing your lifespan, but also increasing your health span, the amount of energy and vibrancy and the ability to live your life to the fullest right up to the end, which is great, which is what you want. And the studies of it are, are overwhelming and they cover lots of different levels and we now know lots of the mechanisms of it. To start off with though, it's really important to understand that uh, when you look at anti-aging, there are different ways of doing it. And the first one is through chronic illness. The more chronic illness you have, the greater your risk of dying prematurely early, having a shorter health span and lifespan. And of course, looking at studies on life expectancy, how long the studies show that uh, animals and things might live if they're given berberine. But when we look at the biochemical hallmarks of aging, we find that there are things like oxidation, which is a free radical theory of aging. And that was proposed back in the 1950s, so it's a long time. And those dastardly free radicals are causing oxidation in the cells, wear and tear senescence, and the damage to the body, to the cells, to the organs, and as a result, chronic illness and premature death and and a decrease in your health span as well, ability to do things. And inflammation, coined about uh, 40 years ago, I think it was, and it's the link between inflammation and aging, and how, like oxidation, increased chronic inflammation through the body leads to a, a, an, an increase in the aging, a speeding up of that aging process, and a deterioration of your health parameters, your ability to do things, and increasing chronic illness. And mitochondrial dysfunction, the great thing here is berberine has been shown to lower all of these, okay? That's where I'm getting at here. And a berberine supplement, mitochondrial dysfunction, uh, has been shown to be a major factor in the aging process. And you've seen some of my other videos, mitochondria are the powerhouse of the cell, which have been said 100,000 times by people out there, but it really is. And everything runs on the mitochondria's energy. It converts everything into the energy, and it can only do that if it's healthy and functioning properly. Unfortunately, with our Western diet, Western lifestyles, it becomes clogged, it becomes sluggish, and as a result of that, damage is done to it, the, the, the control mechanisms. And what we want to do is increase something called mitophagy and autophagy, which is really clearing out the cells and getting everything, getting the biochemistry so it can run properly to give you the energy you need to live longer and do all the things you and your cells need. Remember, everything's at a cellular level. So mitochondrial dysfunction, decreases your life expectancy and decreases your health span as well. So you've got gut dysbiosis. The gut is, is well established as a major factor in living longer and living healthier because of its link. It's not just the gut brain axis, it's the gut liver axis, the gut kidney axis, the gut skin axis, the gut, you name it, it's linked with everything throughout the body. And so one of the best parameters of looking after your aging and your health is by looking after your gut microbiome. And that's 100 trillion microorganisms of viruses and fungi and of course bacteria that you all know about and the right balance in there and the great thing is about berberine is it helps get back that balance it helps bring that into balance again by promoting the good ones like kind of the bifidobacteria you heard about the uh, lactobacillus and of course the great diabetic one which is blood sugar regulation called acomensia mucinophilia and these and could Controlling some of the other ones, the E. coli and the Clostridia and the other ones, help bring that balance back into the gut, along with your healthy lifestyle and, of course, your other healthy factors. Oh, by, by the way, when, when it comes to berberine, one of the small side effects of berberine is uh, it's, it can cause a little bit of gut disturbance. Now, if it does that, it's probably worthwhile lowering your dose, which I'll talk about later on just a little bit. But it's also worth bearing in mind that what you're trying to do is re-establish a different ecosystem in your gut and doing that is going to cause some disturbance in the gut no matter what people taking fiber first time that'll happen people taking this first time that'll happen people taking probiotic first time this will happen so understand that this is usually a natural phenomena whereby your gut is trying to get a little bit healthier and of course can be helped through lots of other things like your healthy diet healthy lifestyle and improving those factors so we've got gut dysbiosis we've got another uh, ampk which which is your master uh, energy switch, master metabolism switch in your body, linked in with your, what's called CERT1 and your sirtuins and your DNA repair. Um, all of these are biochemical indicators of aging well, improving your aging, or on the other side, if they're going the wrong way, 
of deteriorating health and wellness and a shorter lifespan. So what we want to do is improve all of these conditions. They're the biological indicators that we look at. And the great thing is berberine improves all of those across the board. Then we've got, at the critical level, chronic disease. A decrease in chronic disease and berberine is linked with an extensive array of re reductions in chronic illness. And that means uh, chronic illness you'd be aware of. You know, it could cut your life short by weeks, months, years, even decades. So we want to reduce that chronic illness. And all, all of the studies overwhelmingly show the positive effect uh, on various forms of cognitive decline, including Alzheimer's, uh, decrease in Parkinson's disease, obesity, which is linked in with all of these other conditions as well, and how effective berberine is in reducing weight. So there's a great, and of course, some people are comparing it to ozone pick, which is the, uh, uh, the drug that has a lot more side effects than berberine, but, but berberine is readily available and much, much cheaper. So we've got, in terms of obesity, diabetes, it, it, it's been known for thousands of years, thousands of years, as something to help regulate the blood sugar levels, insulin resistance, now we know to measure it, and of course, diabetes as a result of it, metabolic syndrome, cardiovascular disease, it lowers hypertension, which is uh, a major risk factor for heart attack and stroke, and it lowers it by your systolic blood pressure by about five or six millimeters of mercury, which is pretty well equivalent to lots of the drugs and pharmaceuticals out there, but has all these other positive benefits as well. And should be noted that uh, uh, berberine also helps stop the arteries being blocked. So if the your doctor or your specialist or your health professional tells you that you've got blocked arteries, they're blocked, you better do something. All of the studies on animals, the rats, the mice, the rabbits, where they still feed them the junk foods and they, they restrict them from exercising, they develop atherosclerotic plaque, the plaque in the arteries. When you feed them berberine, it stops the development of that plaque. It may even reverse it a little bit. And it's especially imagine if you're not feeding them that and you're getting giving them some exercise, it will start unblocking the arteries. Now, now what's great is there are other foods can help with that. For example, flaxseed, which I've got my videos on flaxseed. Check those out too, because they will work fantastic with many of the same conditions as berberine, including helping extend your life. So it's a, it's a great combination in there. But we've shown that it un helps unblock the arteries, uh, lower hypertension. Uh, it's been shown to be effective, at least in the cell studies, the rat studies, the mice studies, for at least 20 different cancers. And although not life-threatening necessarily, it's been shown to improve mental health, in including stress, anxiety, and depression. And skin aging, well, that's something a lot of people are really worried about. And it improves the health and appearance of the skin, the elasticity of the skin, the collagen, elastin in the skin, and so on. So we've got all of those benefits from lowering the disease. But then we've got studies on life expectancy. Now, we don't do them on humans for the really simple reason that we live too long. And doing an experiment over 80 years is far too expensive, and, well, we'd have to wait a long time for the outcome. Instead, what we've got is studies of human cells. And what they did is that they've got literally heart and brain cells from Parkinson's disease patients, put them in uh, liquids, grown and reproduced them, and then added some berberine to some of it to compare them. And they found adding berberine to these senescent cells from Parkinson's disease sufferers led to a 70% increased longer life expectancy of these cells. Now this is just at a cellular level, showing that at a cellular level it works. So therefore, if we extend that out, it will work because we're just a cocktail of various cells. And then the studies on yeast, show exactly the same. Yeast under stress, yeast under normal conditions, uh, all of those extend the life when they're being given, they're sitting in a fluid, a liquid of berberine or a diluted berberine, of course. Now on the fruit fly studies and something called C. elegans, C. elegans is a little nematode worm, less than a millimeter, you know, that, that small. And we use that as a major, both of these as a major model of aging. And the studies on both of these shows that it virtually doubles the life of these animals by giving, giving them some berberine. Now, what's great about this is it also gives you an indicator of the toxicity and it, the, the studies show overwhelmingly that berberine has a very low toxicity rating, which is, which is great for you. But the, 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 the study that really clinches it all and seals it is, it's quite an elegant little study. It was done in 2019 in the journal called Aging Cell. 
you can look it up by putting aging cell mice uh, berberine and it'll, it'll come up in any search you want to look at and what they did is they got some old mice now mice only literally only live a, a, a you know a couple of years and so when when, when they got this, they got mice that are 18 months and 22 months old. So they're all very old. The equivalent probably about um, 60, 70, uh, 80 year old mice, okay? Pretty old mice, equivalent in our years that is. And what they did was the first group, they gave some chemotherapy to. And with chemotherapy, it's known to be an aging process. So anyone getting chemotherapy, their cells rapidly age. And the same thing happens in mice, they're given chemo, and all the studies show that it rapidly ages you and you die a lot younger. But when they gave the chemo to the mice, to the already very old mice, and they also gave the very old mice berberine, it increased, the berberine increased the life expectancy by 52%, beyond the chemo mice that didn't get the berberine. So there's a little message in there too. Anyone taking chemotherapy, it may worth be worth consulting your health professional to see if you can take berberine or some other supplements to help ameliorate those negative effects of the chemo on the radio and so on. So it showed a 52% increase. And then they just had the natural mice, the mice who weren't given chemo. And remember, these are really old mice as well. And just, just by giving them the berberine, it extended their life literally 16.5%. And that went from 85.5 days to 154 days post-treatment. So it was a dramatic increase in the life expectancy of the mice once they were treated. Now the take home message is that not only does it increase the lifespan of mice and most probably us, but it can work even when you give it to old mice like me. So the message is you can start taking it at any time to start to derive some benefit of it. And that the increase there was literally an 80% increase of their residual lifespan. Of their lifespan left, it was an 80% increase. Now, nobody wants to die. And of course, the great thing about this is not just about the lifespan, but also the health span, being able to you know, live with, with some enjoyment and activity and do the things you want to do. And the great thing is all the studies, when they've when they done them on, on all of these, believe it or not, they, they, they look at the quality of life of the fruit, fruit fly and the, and the little nematode and they see that it actually moves more. It's got better locomotion ability and so on. So the message here is it really does work. It's a great supplement for extending your lifespan. The science is there. There'll be a lot more coming out in the next few years without any doubt. Now, in terms of supplementing, it's pretty simple. Um, always best with a meal. Because it's going to affect the gut microbiome, um, always best with a meal. Well, there's no doubt whether before, just after, during, just take it with a meal. You want around about 500 milligrams of it. So not much. Now, all I would suggest you actually start one a day, one every second day, see how your gut goes. But if you do get gut disorders, remember what it's trying to do is change the gut microbiome around and you will probably find some benefit by having some good, healthy, nutritious food, increasing your, your flax fear meal, uh, flax seed, ground up of course, increasing your fibers, increasing those at the same time. They'll have a synergistic type effect. Now on top of that, as you age, you probably, when you're getting one of, like one of these older mice out there, you probably want to um, add a little bit more in. So uh, 45 years of age, maybe a thousand milligrams, 55 years of age, maybe 1500 milligrams. And that's pretty well the dosage that they, they use in the animal experiments when they extend them. In fact, they use much higher doses in the animal experiments to show, and it does show that it has a very low toxicity. So that's a, a typical supplement of berberine. Now I've got lots of studies on healthy aging, uh, lots of information on it. Check out the videos I've got on flax meal, flax seed and healthy aging, melatonin. Please check out melatonin. Most people think it's to do with sleep. It's a fraction of it. It's actually probably, uh, along with all these other things, a great adjuvant, a great add-on for all of your health benefits and healthy aging. And of course, I've got a couple of videos on other supplements you can use for healthy aging. Check it out and make sure you subscribe to my channel, share it with your friends, and if you've got any questions, ask away.